guys, welcome back to another video with the Math Maker. My name is Jordan, and today we will be talking about multiplying decimals. I know I usually do a dual subject, which means I usually do something like multiplying and dividing, but I think it's better if we do division on its own because it has a lot more steps and things to do to it, so I'm going to be doing a separate video on that. Multiplying decimals, on the other hand, is very easy. When you multiply, you don't even have to line up the decimals like you have to do for multiplying and for dividing, adding, and subtracting. Whenever you multiply a decimal, you have you multiply down like you would usually do, then add the decimals. What I mean by this, I already have two problems up there that I wanted to show you, but then I'll also be redoing the work for them also. So I have this problem so then you do six times three which equals eight you put the one here then you do it again um three times nine equals 28 put the eight there put the two here then three times eight is 24 you put the six here plus two is 24 you put the six here put the one there and you put the two here and then you have 3 times 2 equal plus 2 equals 8. But then we also have a decimal. So this is 1, 2, 3, place 1, two, wait, 1, 2 places away from the whole number. And then this is only one place. When I mean whole number, I mean in front of it, wherever the decimal stops, it's time to count. So you have one, two, that's two places, and then you only have one place. So then add those back to, all together, and then you have one, two, three, one, two, three places you have to go to. I know that seemed a little confusing, so confusing, confusing. So I'm going to be doing another problem, which is over here. So then, after you multiply all of these, you only have one decimal. So it's one, two places away. So then all you have to do is skip one, two, and that's how where your decimal would be. If the decimal was like right here, then you'd have to do one more, and then this would be right there. But in this case, the decimal is only is only right there. It's only right here on the multi uh, on the problem so then you would leave the decimal right there that's mainly the biggest problem whenever anybody's multiplying a decimal they will forget to actually put the decimal in that place or you might just forget to carry the decimal after them after they are done so then you also have i'll be doing one more problem kind of just help out get a better understanding so i'll just erase this if you want to keep this one i'm going to keep this one as an example that's where your decimal would be so then my this problem would be four two eight three so then you just multiply nine Eight, one, seven, twelve, zero, six, two, one, five, eight. After you get the answer, which will be nine, Pretty sure that's my answer. So after you get that, now we notice that this decimal skips a place by one and this skips it by two. So one plus two is obviously three. So instead of this being 98,049, this is instead of 
a line right there, comma. You have one, two, three, <coughs> sorry, um, places. So then you would actually have 98 and 49 thousandths. I hope you really understand it, that one, because I know it's a little trickier. But would you get it done? Multiplying decimals are fairly easy and not really hard to do. And does not have as much steps as you would when you have to sometimes multiply a fraction. My last problem will be... So I made this problem a little bit easier. So if anybody wanted to copy off of it and see if you can do it yourself, you can try. And then you would see how much places the decimal skips. One, two. So that's how much places the decimal skips. That's how much places you are with your decimal. I hope you learned something during this lesson. Please like and subscribe and tap the notification bell if this is your first video or if you already haven't. Thank you for watching and have a good day.